I've barely even recorded for an hour, so I think I think we actually have to keep going today. I know it's kind of anticlimactic a little bit, actually. Is that the word I mean? I mean, we, we save something for later, we hype it up for for doing it. I think it's actually the exact opposite of anticlimactic because we, we hyped up that we're going to go to fight the boss and fight Bowser and claim another Grand Star, and then we just go, oh wait, I've, I've literally not recorded enough footage of this game and I have to go back. So never mind, we're doing it right now. I can't do it when it's off screen. I oh, oh I can I forgot you can like twist it, so I'm kinda dumb. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Bowser, are you making your son fight me? I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Alright, put that on the list of crimes Bowser's committed. That counts as child you know negligent making your son fight your mortal enemy and you know try to kill him. That's I think we need to get the child services involved here. Mega leg? Why does that sound like a porn star? Like, just, just known for their very thick legs. Oh, damn! Those are some thick legs, though. You got three of them. Nice. All right, so getting the boss is actually pretty easy. That's literally the star right there, but we can't break that open with our normal spin. We have to shoot little uh, bullet bills into it. Hello? Shoot me, please. A sense I would never normally say, especially as I live in America. This is basically just a very short tutorial teaching you how to manipulate, uh, yeah, bullet bills to do that. Is there anything else on this planet I want to get before I go? These Goombas are so weird. I don't even know if they're actually like real Goombas because their eyes is up, ah, up, ah, stop. Stop! Fuck you! I'm gonna make you blow up your own house. Ow! Oh, you blew me up. Fuck you! Like, are they even Goombas? Cause they have this weird glow under their eyes. And what? What are they? I don't think they're Goombas. I think they're something more disturbing. Oh, God, boop! I was trying to kick him into the black hole, and I was gonna make it like a, a funny quote, like, "Ha ha! Into the black hole you go, monstrosity!" But instead, I almost killed myself. But here we go. Boss fight time. Hey, what the fuck is this? Bowser Jr. Bowser! He, Bowser Jr. is li literally driving around a fucking spaceship in the cold, dark loneliness of space, unsupervised. Do you even have a fucking spaceship license? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're, we're getting the child services involved, man. Well, how you made it? But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Your dad's not even here? Really? Bowser just sit off his son to go fight this, this grown middle-aged Italian man by himself. It's even worse because he's a plumber, and plumbers are automatically creepy. Go at him, Megalex. Stop with the power of your Grand Star. And you're making your, your child play around with giant, dangerous robots that have powers in them that no mere child should ever grasp. Yeah, Bowser. Bowser, we're getting, we're getting all the child services just involved. They're, they're all being paged. They're all being called. They're all going to be out your intergalactic door and like within the next second, and they're going to take Bowser Jr. away. But it is child neg negligence, and I won't stand for it. All right, here we go. Time for the most baller boss fight ever. Here's the first actual boss, everyone. Yep, giant robot. That's not like stepping it up a ton at all. It looks very intimidating, but it's not very intimidating at all. People think this boss fight is like super impressive for something, but not really. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's kind of difficult though, because these these bullet bills really lock on to you, man. So, um, can I get this thing off screen, please? Thank you. Let's go. Right, now we're at the top of the head. It didn't take long, but now we need to fling some of these guys in here. Uh oh. Yeah, they have a protocol for that. We need to destroy the power source, and which will also destroy the robot, and then we can claim the Grand Star. So we need to do what the tutorial taught us and fling some bullet bills into here. Doing the ones around the eyes doesn't work very well because sometimes they just literally fly into his eyeballs and yeah, they do that. <gasps> are, you gonna, are we just going to do this immediately? Well, that was... That was hard. Good job, Bowser, putting all your resources into building a fucking giant robot that didn't do jack shit that I literally killed in less than like two minutes. Good job, Bowser. 
I still have to mention, by the way, people say Bowser's a good father just because he fucking lets his son play video games sometimes. You remember that fucking commercial, the parent controls and shit. It's like, yeah, when that came out, everyone was like, oh my God, look at Bowser. He, he such, he's such a good father because he lets his son play video games sometimes, you know, casually forgetting that he's forcing his son to do, you know, a, a life of crime of kidnapping and doing all kinds of bad things that, you know, you shouldn't be doing, you know, teaching your son. You should be setting a better example. Bowser's a bad father. Don't at me. Oh, by the way, we got a grand star. That's a pretty big deal. Except it's not a big deal because it was so easy to get that it's not even worth mentioning, man. Yes, I got a grand star and it's this big grand event. Except it's not because it's so easy. I shove the thing inside the big giant ball. Yep, I don't know if you should just like fucking shove that thing in there. This thing's kind of dangerous if you ask me. Mario knows what he's doing. And now we've done that, we have unlocked another area where we can go to more galaxies. Nice. And we got 10 stars, only 230 to go. We're making good time. Oh, galaxy completes. And we discovered a bunch of new galaxies, only one, ugh. Okay, fine, whatever. Hey, what's up, best girl? That ball of flames represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. Why did my grand star literally only power like one place? Like that, that, that before the last grand star like opened up a whole huge section of this place and the next grand star has literally opened up one building. Come on now. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. All right, cool. Is it safe to be standing this close to it, you know, without any like containment measures? I feel like that sort of thing would be producing like a ton of, you know, UV radiation and gamma radiation. I feel like we should all be dead right now. Once all the power is restored, we will to fly to the center of the universe. What's up, Hershey Kiss? How you doing, my boy? Oh, the power on the new dome. What about it? <clears throat> yep, I see it. The newly opened dome is quite a fountain. It's quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about the galaxy as well as the dome. If you forget the location of the dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. Bro, there's only like fucking five of them. Why, why, why do I have to ask you directions? Do you really think little, that little of my intelligence? Like, come on now. Before we go there, is there anything here we want to do? We don't have to collect all the stars here. But maybe we want to? Question mark? And now we'll come, we'll come back to here later. Let's go let's go check out the new galaxy we just unlocked in the later area over here. Hello, what's up, blue guy? Actually, wait a second. You know what? The thing teleports to you when you do it. But you know, we're gonna do it the cool man's way. We ain't no baby bitch that has to use no fucking baby bitch teleporter. No. Come on, we're no, we're cool. We're uh, well, that wasn't cool. You know what? Maybe I'm just doing it the wrong way. How do I turn the camera? Maybe it's the uh, up oh, well. Wasn't far enough back, you know what? I refuse. We're doing it the cool man's way. We're not. We're not getting enough speed. Be nice. I can turn the camera, please. Come on. Up. Oh, oh, I up. Oh, you bitch. Wow. Look, I made it. First try. Wow. I'm so fucking good. Fuck you. Bye. Hey, what's up? Oh, we're in a bathhouse. Does mean fucking uh, Hershey kiss alone in a bathhouse? Is alone in here together, huh? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything if you won't say anything. <laughs> Fifteen, that's like five more than I have. What's this place? Ah, uh, junk. I don't want to go in someone's junk when I'm in the bathhouse. All right, fine, let's go. Space junk galaxy. Sure, why not? Dude, I still really have to do all the selecting and bullshit with motion controls. I'm still- I'm gonna- I'm gonna play about this till the end of the series, man. Let me use the joystick, Nintendo. Come on. You can literally just patch that into the game, probably. Now this level represents Mario Galaxy. Perfect music, perfect theming, and perfect visuals. Ah, this is nice. Alright, use the pull star to pull our body over there. Alright, I don't know how in canon Mario does that. How the hell does he use a pool star like in the actual game? Because Mario doesn't have a fucking actual disembodied hand in real life. At least I don't think so. I think Nintendo would have mentioned that power probably. There we go. And this is basically just a giant junkyard in the sky. So let's not become junked ourselves. 
Aha. There we go. Oh, we gotta collect star chips so we can uh, spawn a little launch pad star thingamabobber. What's with all the fucking electricity? What, why, why is... Why did this game persist on trying to electrocute me all the time? It's not really cool, man. What are you guys even doing here, you big giant metal balls? Fuck you. Oh. Ow. Just bashed my fucking skull through that crystal. And now there's just a rocket ship here for some reason. Apparently this is like a reference to Pigmen. I've never played a single Pigmen game, so I don't I don't know if that's true, but apparently it's a reference to a uh, Pigmen. Apparently it's like the main character's spaceship or something. So that's that's pretty cool. Except I don't care. Why is my thing acting weird? Ooh, pull stars and balls. That's right. Pull me towards those balls. We're in we're in the junk galaxy, and I'm getting pulled to every single ball. Oh yeah. I'm five years old. Except I don't like a five-year-old would know such inappropriate jokes, honestly. All right. Man, I'm just getting distracted everything all up in this junk, aren't I, huh? That's right. This junk has a has a, a gravitational pull, if you know what I mean. I don't know why I proceed on being completely nasty. C for cookie, because that that meteorite looks like a like a giant cookie for some reason. Ooh, hoppy spider. I can do hops too. You want to see my sick hops? Watch this. You'll like this. I kind of expected you guys to be dead, but I'll, I'll just do it this way. Ow! Fuck you. You're not gonna dance and be all happy because you hurt me. Hello. Hate spiders, so you can all just die, you know. I have to free all the toads, I think, unfortunately. All right, don't worry. I'll free all of you. I'll do it. Everyone will be free. I don't think this is a toad, but you know what? He, he deserves to be free, man. No one deserves to be frozen in a block of ice for the rest of time. All right, it's fine. Just leave him be. Just leave him be. A pie. Where's that confounded power star? I don't know. Why would I know that? That's why I'm here. I'm looking for it. If I already knew where it was, I would have got it and I would have been gone. And you guys would just, you know, be here. Where'd my glasses go? I don't know. Maybe the Goomba has them. I'll go ask him. Hey, have you seen a pair of glasses? One of the toads lost a pair of glasses. No? Okay, nice talking to you. Captain, how'd you do? I don't know. Ow! What? Uh, uh, hey! Fucking rude, man. I, just, I saved you from being frozen for the rest of the time. That's how you repay me. You know what? Some people, some people you just can't please. Da 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 da! Mr. Mario, as the brave captain to the Dark Brigade, I've discovered a shortcut to the Power Star. I don't think you're really brave. I mean, where the fuck were you? Your, your entire crew was just down here frozen. Why didn't you save them? Why did I have to do all the work, huh? Take this thing star at the top of the star room. All right, I'll do that. Try try saying that five times fast. Take the star shroom at the stop of the star. Take the stop. I don't even know. What, oh, it's kind of hard to say because I don't even remember what you said anymore, to be honest. Oh, it's this thing where the level builds itself in front of you. <gasps> is, is this a Mario Maker reference? Oh, the level's building itself. That's a Mario Maker reference. Definitely. All right, so basically all we got to do is walk places, then the level will build and unbuild itself in front of us and behind us, and then we just collect all these things and they form a star. Right, yes, follow me, little ones. Follow me. I shall transform you into a golden boy. Cause you're just baby bitch silver boys right now. And that and you're not of any use to me in that state, honestly. Alright, but why are the silver ones like conscious but the golden ones aren't? That's sort of weird. I mean, when you become an adult, do you just like stop, you know, being conscious? I mean, I guess that's kind of true. You kind of just zone out when you become an adult, don't you? You kind of just zone out from the suffering and the horrors of life. All right, and we just killed like uh, five beings. We turned five beings into one, and now they're basically just dead now because they have no consciousness anymore. Five children had to die for that star. Just just point that out. I don't really care, but I just you know need to point it out. Lives were sacrificed for this star. Yoink, mine. If you gotta eat some children for the greater good, do it. Just do it. I think we're gonna do one more uh, galaxy for today. I mean, one more star and we're gonna be done. All right, unlocked another galaxy, good. I will save my game if I can figure out how to get my fucking cursor on the screen. 
That'd be nice. All right, what's this place? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You know, but that's, that's the perfect thing to end this on. More motion controls. Yes, Nintendo was very obsessed with their with their shitty motion controls uh, back in the Wii era. I don't know why, but they were. You know, I thought Nintendo was all about, you know, accessibility and stuff, but th this fucking bullshit is not accessible to anyone. All right, here we go. Motion controls. Hooray. So basically, we just have to roll this thing away until we can find something to break it open. I don't know why I can't just break it open myself. <gasps> is is it him? Oh. <gasps> Hey now, if you just think about rolling that, oh, it's him! It's actually him, not his, his imposter brother, Gilboard, it's Billboard. Hey now, if you just think about rolling that ball away, you better listen to old Billboard here. First, jump up on top of the ball. All right, I'll do that. But listen to him, this is Billboard, very important. All right, now that, you didn't get to read that because you're dumb, haha. <laughs> that's it, that's what we call the basic position. All right, I'm very good at positions, man, you can trust me. Then just press B to jump. If anything gets in your way, smush it. Fucking smash that idiot. Smash his fucking pussy. Kill him. You'll learn more by doing it yourself. Good luck. God, you just you you teachers just love to throw me in a thick of things when it involves motion controls, don't you? It's like, well, I think you'll do good. Just you know, try not to fall and plummet to your death forever. You know, into the cold darkness of space. It's fine. Are we doing good now, but it's been pretty easy so far. Things are about to get a little bit more tense. Whoa! It's like this little music that goes along for how fast you go. You know what? We're real, man. We're gonna do it the real man's way. Who star bits? Follow the line. We got this, come on. Uh oh, we don't got this! Oh, I... Hole in one! Please do not give me the tutorial again. Thank you. We. I don't know why I'm getting the coins. They literally don't matter. Time for ultra speed. You know what? We're gonna speed run this. Fuck it. I'm going full, full fucking speed ahead. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh, 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 oh. Wasn't even scared for a second. You may have heard me say I was scared multiple times, but that was a. Uh, that was an audio error, and that was a visual error as well. I didn't die. Can I just play the game, like, seriously for once in my life? Oh, hey, Green Goomba, Imposter Goomba. I think the Green Goombas looking kind of sus, not gonna lie. I don't care if last time me going full speed didn't really work out well. We're doing it again. Right, does this also reset it? I think also pressing R resets it. The motion controls this way, I think, probably. Uh, 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 yeah, we're not doing, we're not going that way. Uh, that, that... Uh, that seems like very treacherous and uh, thin ground. I found the imposter! Get him! Wait, no. I want I want to I want to stab that man. I think this is it. All right, thank God. Whoo, that... Th th these levels aren't fun. At all. They're, they're actually the exact opposite of fun, but at least it's done now. I climb the flagpole and claim our power star for all of our hard work. Wasn't worth the emotional turmoil I had to go through to get it. Man, why, why are there so many ball levels just in the in the fucking the bathhouse? That, that had to be on purpose, right? That had to be on purpose. Hey, uh, Hershey Kiss, uh, uh, do you have balls? I mean, I don't know, man. Are you wearing pants or something? Because I, I don't see no genitalia. I'll just be honest here. They're stars. They're probably agender or something. So me, me, me commenting on his lack of genitalia is probably like transphobic or something. Or I don't know. What do they call being hateful towards a... Uh, Non-binary people, what is that? Is I still transphobic? I don't know, man. I don't I don't know these things. I'm not woke and you know with it. Whatever. I don't even know why how we end up talking about fucking transphobia and bi non-binary people. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. And I'll see you in the next one. Except actually not nah, hi, you got you got you fool, idiot, you got fooled idiot. That's how we're going more. We're doing it, we're doing more. Two more hours. Two more hours of Mario Galaxy and you can't stop me. I'm joking, by the way. This, this, this is actually it. We're done. You can go now.